So in a previous video I told you guys I'd show you how I made the wheels and that's what we're gonna do today but I'm gonna take it one step forward. For this you're gonna need two cardboard tubes, one slightly bigger than the other and you're also gonna need a bottle of cotton buds. You won't need the cotton buds, you just need these tubes. Next you're gonna cut about a 35mm piece from the smaller tube. This will be your rim. I use this strip of paper to help me mark the line along which I'm going to cut. You're gonna need a template like this to help you mark the points at which you want your spokes. You do that by simply lining up the rim on the template and marking out the points using a pencil. This here is what I use to make the spokes. The angle and thickness is really up to you. What really matters is this straight line here. It has to be equal to the inner radius of the rim, minus 1 or 2 millimeters for the axle. So this is how you're going to cut them out. Then you're going to take the V, bend it along the middle, and you're going to glue each of these on either side, like this. This is what it should look like. Of course, do it for the other four as well. So here it is all glued in. Notice how I've glued each twin spoke a millimeter away from each side of the mark. So you're gonna use one of the plastic tubes as an axle, and I'm sure you've noticed, there's too much space. But don't worry, that was planned. You're gonna take a long strip of tape and wrap it around the tube until you get it large enough to fit snugly in the center. Next you're gonna glue in a strip of sponge. The thickness doesn't matter, it's sponge. It is important however that it be slightly narrower than the rim. Next you're gonna put on some electrical tape. Be sure to leave some space on the edges as that's where the glue is going to bind in a later step. Now you can cut a piece from the larger tube, but make sure it's wider, about 2mm from either side. Next you're gonna need a template like this to help trace and cut out the treads. The design is entirely up to you. Personally, I've chosen something that makes it look like the rear wheel of a chopper bike. So this is what it looks like. Now you're gonna slide it on and glue it into place along the edges. Of course this is going to give it a slightly curved profile, but if you want something flat, you're gonna make 90 degree bends about 2 mm off of each side on each flap. You can trim off the excess from the edges to make it look neat. This is going to be the wheel hub. It's a 15 mm cube and the axle is going to pass through the two holes on the left vertical section and the arms will pass in through the rest. This is what I mean. You can see that I've slid in some more plastic tubes. Those are glued into place. You can trim off the excess. Now you probably won't notice this just yet, but there's going to be a great deal of friction at this point. You can fix this by simply making a small ring out of some card and sliding it into place. It's going to go a long way. Next you can cut out a brake disc and glue it into place. You can see it's all moving very smoothly. Don't glue the wheel in just yet. So you're going to need a way to attach the arms to the hub and at the same time allow it to move up and down. For that I'm going to be using calendar binding wire. You need to straighten out a small amount and then just slide it in through the tube and then just bend it like that. These tubes are 35mm long and before we slide them on, it's a good idea to bend the wires a bit. This is gonna create something of a tight fit and make sure that the tubes cannot gradually slide back out. 